I'm Kim Taylor, co-founder and CEO of Renku. Renku is a discovery engine for online degrees from traditional universities, bachelor's, master's, PhD, start to finish. Um, but then we work with businesses and we power their tuition reimbursement. So their employees will come to us and they can pick degrees that are pre-approved. How did you come up with the idea for this? I had the original idea in, in 2009. Everyone told me it was a really silly idea. The schools would never go online. It would dilute their brand. I basically just studied the industry for years and then finally I felt like you know, 2013 was the right time. How did you get from idea to what you are now? I reconnected with a childhood friend um, who also worked in the education space, who then became my co-founder. I had the wireframes done at the time and showed them to her, and she just looked at me and said, if you ever do this, I will quit my job. Under a month later, she quit her job, and we started, we started the company. So we built our prototype in 10 days. How did you do that? I completely bootstrapped um, the first version of the product um, because it makes everything else so much easier. When you show someone, this is what I could do in 10 days, imagine what I could do in three months, imagine what I could do in a year, imagine what I could do if I had capital. What is the thing that surprised you the most about the education system or about education in general? We have a crisis in education in America. Um, college degrees, they need to be cheaper and they need to be more aligned with the labor market and we need to close the skills gap and we have a way to do that. All these schools were putting courses online but it was really difficult to put the whole degree online and innovation always happens much faster than society or university's ability to adopt it. But how can we operate within like the confines of the system to even do that because we did need the schools. It's way more fun to break the rules when you actually understand them. And so, <laughs> yeah, that would be helpful. You were telling me, you know, what most employers are looking for these days are STEM jobs. And we're here today to talk about STEM. What does that mean? What are they, what are employers looking for? We talk about STEM, but what does it actually mean? Like when we talk about engineering, Engineering. We have electrical engineers, civil engineers, software engineers. If you're studying engineering, math, and these really in-demand skill sets, you will get a job. This is what every employer is looking for. You used to be a dancer in the NBA. I was. So how was that? <laughs> you know what? It was one of the most fun things I've, I've ever done and that I'm most proud of. I was a freshman in college and I was dancing for the Milwaukee Bucks. Right around this time, there was this up and coming internet entrepreneur named Mark Cuban that had just sold his company to Yahoo and just bought a basketball team. I always remembered being just really fascinated by him as an entrepreneur. Sure enough, like uh, that was my last year dancing. And now, and now you saw this great entrepreneur and now you are a great entrepreneur. I know you brought <laughs> something to show us. So what did you bring? Our Wisconsin license plate here. This is my co-founders. Um, so and you're from Wisconsin. Because we are from Wisconsin. We've been friends since we were 12. Whenever we build things or roll out features, we always ask ourselves, like, can we take us home to Wisconsin? Could I get someone in northern Wisconsin to understand what an industrial product designer was? And we always start there, so everything really just like always goes back to Wisconsin for us. Thank you so, so much. Oh, you are clearly you. a fearless founder. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's a blast. <laughs>